everyone welcome back to public connect in this video we are going to learn how to create go high level contacts from google sheets here let's suppose i have prepared a spreadsheet to add the lead details in my google sheets and now i want that as soon as i'm going to add a new lead detail in my google sheets automatically that same lead should be added as a contact in my go high level crm application so how we are going to automate this entire process for this you will have to set up a connection between google sheets and go high level and that we are going to do without any coding or program skills with the help of Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect works on two principles, trigger and action. So what we are going to do, we will have to take Google Sheets in our trigger and go high level in our action. And we will connect both of them with the help of Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And in order to learn the entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to automatically add leads from Google Sheets to go high level CRM. So I am an owner of food processing business with a name as Tasty Eats and I have the details of all my leads in my Google Sheets. Now here my objective is that as soon as I'm going to add a new data of a lead in my Google Sheets in a new row, automatically that same lead should be added as a contact in my go high level CRM. So we are going to create this automation by setting up a connection between Google Sheets and go high level and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. After coming here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on the sign up for free button to create your free new account. Once you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Okay. Now, as an existing user, I'm directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save the workflows. As you can find, I have multiple folders over here. I have created them to save my workflows accordingly on my dashboard. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Create Go High Level Contacts from Google Sheets. After giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save this workflow. So from the drop down, I'm going to select this Google Sheets and Go High Level CRM automation. Now, after selecting our folder, let's click on create. And as we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. As I told you, Pabli Connect runs on two principles, trigger and action. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So these two are the building blocks of the entire automations. Okay, now whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. So therefore we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose we are going to take Google Sheets in our trigger and go high level in our action. And we want that as soon as a new row will be updated in Google Sheets along with the details of a lead automatically that same lead should be added as a contact in go high level crm so here our action is a response towards our trigger because when the trigger happens that means when the data is added in google sheets then only the contact is added in go high level otherwise not so after understanding this concept let's start creating the workflow step by step first of all you will select our trigger application which is google sheets so let's select that and now we will select our trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start or trigger. New or updated spreadsheet row will be our trigger event over here as we want that whenever we are going to add a new row in our Google Sheets, the response of that row should be automatically captured here in Pabli Connect. And with that response, the workflow should get triggered. So here a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions. We need to follow these instructions step by step to connect our Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So first of all, I'm going to copy the webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge for sending the data from Google Sheets towards Pabli Connect. And now I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So this is my spreadsheet. It contains following details, first name, last name, email, and phone number of a lead. So I have already created an automation in backend that whenever a new lead will be generated for my food processing business, the detail of that lead should be added here in Pabli Connect. Okay, now I'm going to show you how we can connect our Google Sheets with Go High Level to add the lead details in Go High Level as a contact. Okay, so for that, we have to go towards extensions. And here we we can find the option of add-ons. When you will click on this get add-ons, 
it has taken us towards google workspace marketplace now here we need to search for pably connect web books let's select that and basically pably connect web books is the add on which we need to install in google sheets to connect it with pably connect okay so as you can find i have already installed my add on so i'm going to go back and if you will install the add on for the first time you also have to refresh your spreadsheet so that you can find the option of pably connect web books under extensions now as i can find the option let's go towards initial setup and basically in order to connect our google sheets with pably connect we have to perform an initial setup in which we need to enter two details web book url and the trigger column so first of all let us paste the url which we have copied from pably connect and the next is the trigger column so the concept of this trigger column says that whenever in the spreadsheet the data will be entered up till this column that entire row will be sent towards pably connect so it is given that the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row will be sent to the web book url so whenever we are going to add the data up till trigger column automatically the response will be sent towards pably connect with the help of this web book url so here in the background you can find that i have four columns in my spreadsheet a b c and d so column d will be my trigger column as i want that whenever i'm going to enter the data in my spreadsheet up till phone number that means up till column d the response should be sent towards pably connect so here i'm going to enter d as my trigger column and now let's click on this send test button to send the test response towards pably connect so the test response is sent successfully towards pably connect now let's submit the initial setup and as the setup is configured successfully we will cross this and move back towards pably connect and here we can find that we have received the response over here here in the response we have received all the details the name of the spreadsheet the trigger column spreadsheet id sheet name sheet id row index phone number last name first name and the email this means that our connection between google sheets and pably connect is successful so our objective is that as soon as a new row will be added in google sheets the response should be sent towards pably connect for that we have to do one more thing so we have to go towards extensions once again in pably connect web books and this time we need to click on this send on events as we have done that we have made sure that now whenever we are going to add a new row in the spreadsheet the data will be keep on sending towards pably connect without any manual efforts okay so we have done the first step now we'll move towards our next step and now our next step is to add the same lead in our go high level crm for that we will move forward towards our action step and in our action application we will select lead connector v1 so we can connect go high level with the help of this lead connector v1 api okay let us select that and now in the action event we will select create or update contact let's click on connect and as we have done that it is asking us two options add new connection or select existing connection to connect lead connector v1 account with pably connect we need to enter a token over here okay so if you already have an existing connection you can also go with that but to create a new connection i have selected add new connection over here so i will have to provide the token to get the location api key log into your account go to settings company and then you will get your api key so the instructions are provided to us i am going to take you towards my go high level account and here we have to go towards business file under setting section now when we will scroll down we can find the option of api key so we will simply copy this and paste it over here in this field okay so this is our api key now in the same manner you need to find your api key and paste it over here to create the connection between go high level and pably connect we will click on save and with this we can find that go high level is successfully connected with pably connect now here we need to enter the details in these fields to create a new contact so let's start with the name so it is asking either we have to enter first name or last name separately or we can also enter the full name in the combined format over here in this field so in the sheet i have the first name and last name in the separate format so i'm going to use these two fields so we will simply map the data over here from google sheets mapping is inserting data from previous step here our previous step is given and here are all the details we want to map the first name. name so let's select the first name and it will be mapped so as we have mapped this data it has become dynamic that means now it, with each and every response it is going to change so whenever a new row will be added in our google sheets and the response of that row will be captured here in pably connect automatically this name is going to be replaced with a new name of the new lead but in case if we will enter it manually by copy and pasting or by typing man or by typing then it would have become static and then it is not going to change with each and every response then we will not be able to create the automation okay so to auto made the entire process we have mapped the data now in the same manner we will map the last name also email and the phone number okay so we have mapped all the details and here some of the details are not mandatory so i'm just ignoring them for now but if you want you can also add them i will simply click on save and send test request button and we can find that here we have received the response in the response we have received one contact id this means the contact is added in go high level so let's go and check here is the contact list let me open the contact section 
and here we can find that the smart lead is added as the contact in go high level this is the phone number and this is the email the date on which the contact is added is also given this means that our workflow is perfectly successful and we have successfully built a connection between google sheets and go high level so let's check this workflow once again whenever i'm going to add a new row in this particular spreadsheet automatically a contact will be added in go high level okay so let me start with the first name let's say this time the name of the lead is dummy lead and let's say this time instead of email i'm going to use only phone number okay so let's say i have received only the phone number of the lead and i have not received an email so i'm going to enter phone number over here now as we have entered the phone number let's go and check whether this lead is recently created in go high level or not so we will refresh the page over here and yes here we can find that the contact is recently added the email is not given but the contact is created with the phone number and the name this means that the workflow is running perfectly fine so now whenever we are going to add a new row in this particular spreadsheet automatically a contact will be created in go high level okay so we will go back towards pabli connect and we will summarize what we have done here in the workflow so we have taken two simple steps in trigger we have taken google sheets and in action we have taken lead connector v1 that means go high level and we have connected both of them in such a way that now whenever a new row will be added along with the details of a lead in google sheets automatically that same lead will be added as a contact in go high level crm okay this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate many other applications by using pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can directly reach out to us at support@pabli.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you want to ask any pricing related issue then you can directly reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget it to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations